Whoa, this is Chef Wisdom Shabazz, and I'm back at y'all with that LGS style crawfish. Yeah, this is that crawfish I used to ball for them kids on the weekends when I was working at McDonald's Playground, when I used to run that park. It's real simple, we we'll have to jump right into it. I'm gonna tell you all the ingredients y'all need. You will need three grapefruit, six navel oranges, eight lemons, eight limes, one bag of onion, four bell pepper, one stalk of celery. You're gonna need lemon juice, you're gonna need garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, garlic, and one cup of salt. Now right now you see when I'm doing this, I'm purging the crawfish. Put some salt in there, let them chill for a little while. Now I'm putting the ingredients into the boiling water. Gotta go the grapefruit, the oranges, the lemons. Like I say, you need three grapefruit, six navel oranges, eight lemons, eight limes, one bag of onion, four bell peppers, one stalk of celery, about eight or ten garlics, all right? And then you're gonna need some bay leaf. You're gonna need to get you like three of those little bottles from a Walmart of garlic powder, three bottles of onion powder, and you're gonna three bottles of cayenne pepper. There go my garlic powder, here go my onion powder, here go my cayenne pepper, there go my bay leaf, about eight or ten bay leaves. There go, I use Cajun Land because I doctor it up a lot. I use one thing of Cajun Land crawfish ball, I use one 24 ounce of lemon juice. I actually gonna use two of them by the time I finish, but you gonna see what I'm doing right here. Okay, I use the Cajun Land. I'm gonna use half a bottle right now of Cajun Land liquid crab ball. Mix all that up. Now I'm gonna use a pound of butter. I use that uh, that Irish butter. It don't really make a difference what kind of butter you use. All right, here go the crawfish. Nice sack of Bell River crawfish, like 33 pound sack. It's pretty good. Fed my family. They toyed them. Mix that crawfish around in there real quick. Now, I only boil my crawfish for 20 minutes. I let my crawfish soak for like 45 minutes to an hour. All right, that's the trick. Boil it for 20 minutes. Let it soak for 20, uh, 45 minutes to an hour. When you if you're doing shrimp, in the last five minutes of your ball, 15 minutes into the ball, you put your shrimp in there. You let your shrimp ball for like five minutes, right? I'm gonna mix the shrimp up in there real good. Put them down. Let them ball for only five minutes. Five to six minutes. Now you're about to see I'm about to start adding in my cone. Now at this point, I've turned the fire off. The cone is frozen cone, and it's gonna help. What happens is when you add a cold element to the heat, it helps the crawfish soak in the juice, which helps them soak in the seasoning. That's what make them taste so good. So now I'm adding three packs of frozen corn. I turned the fire off. Three packs of frozen corn because that water is hot as hell. For real, believe that. Right? And I'm going to get that corn down in there real good. Push that corn down in there real good. Now see how the crawfish is sitting on top of the pot? You know the crawfish soak the season when the crawfish soak below the water. That's when it's become real heavy. It's dense with the water in the season. Now I'm about to add ice. And from this point on, I'm going to let it soak for like 45 minutes. Now I'm about to take it off. Now you see how the crawfish soak below the water line? I use my big spoon, scoop out the crawfish. I never take the, the little strain out the pot. People always ask, why don't take the strain out the pot? I don't have time for all that. I like to scoop my crawfish out of there. Look at my work. Mm -hmm. So I'm scooping out the crawfish. The crawfish was real good too, man. I did this for Father's Day as a gift to my daddy. Now no crawfish bowl would be complete without pig feet and turkey neck. Now what you don't see me doing is I add in another cup of salt, the rest of the liquid crab ball, and another 24 ounce uh, bottle of lemon juice to you know to bring up the seasoning profile back into it. Now I'm about to add my potatoes into it. This one I boil my potatoes. Cause they take a little while. Cause the turkey neck's gonna take about an hour, hour 15 minutes, and pig feet gonna take about an hour, an hour 15 minutes to really boil and get soft and tender like you want. So you just let it roll. Now you're about to see me add in some smoked sausage, right? Mix it up real quick. Now I'm about to add in my mushrooms. Now I'm about to just check on 
and I'm tapping the spoon against the meat to see how soft or how hard it is or where it's at with it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm really doing. I can tell when it's done by, by you know, just tapping the spoon against the tip. It's tough enough. Because turkey necks, y'all know how turkey necks go. They take a little while to cook. And pig feet do too. But you want them to cook for a long time so it could be real soft and tender. About an hour, hour, 15 minutes. And at this point, they're done. I'm about to scoop them all out. Let my kids bust that up too. You know what I'm saying? And that's all that counts for me. That's the reason I do it. For my kids. I live for them kids. I love them kids. They really enjoyed it. My daddy came over. He really enjoyed it. And I sent something to my mom. She really enjoyed it. So y'all like and subscribe. Be easy.